Hello everyone, this is Funny. You are watching Funny HS Info. Today I am going to talk about line breaking work permit. The main contents in this section are what is line breaking work permit, line breaking work, work permit flowchart, what are the sections in line breaking work permit and how to fill it. What is line breaking work permit? It is an authorization to work with hazardous chemical lines or in chemically induced atmosphere that either toxic or corrosive by in nature that is either toxic or corrosive by nature examples working with ammonia chlorine dma so2 hydrogen bromine handling areas or equipments next line breaking work permit flowchart flowchart will guide the sequence and process of line breaking work permit usage first of all we have to assess the job does the job involve the exposure of hazardous chemicals? Then read the MSTS carefully before working with chemical lines. Check the pipeline cleared from the hazardous chemicals. Then pipeline is isolated from the service. Obtained a written work permit and get clearance from the concern authority. Attach JSA to the work permit. Verify the stored pressure or hold up chemical present in the pipeline. Maintain good communication between teams who involved in the pipeline work. Ensure availability of chemical hand gloves or breathing gas suit. Get clearance from safety representative. Perform the work by proper supervision and complete line breaking work by following safety precautions or instructions. Next line breaking work permit format. This is a line breaking work permit format. It is very important to know about the contents in this format and how to fill this format without any corrections and confusions. Let me start with the section 1. It is about permit title and reference number to give clear identification of the permit. To ensure that permit can be easily stored and retrieved, this include document number, version number and effective date. Next job location. This section helps in the clear identification of the location and description of the work, the complete details of the task performed. Next section is about precautionary measures to be verified before start of the activity which includes equipment or pipeline cleaning status, tools condition, power supply details, ventilation, lighting, detectors and workers competency checks etc. Next section is about additional work permits, details of other permits which includes which included with this permit if required. Next section is about isolation, electrical and mechanical isolation details like LOTO and other service isolation details. Next section is about hazard identification, a complete summary of hazards that you may face during the job. Next section is about PPE, a list of safety gear needed while performing the assigned task. Next permit validity, duration of the work hours, date of the work to be carried out. Next authorizations name designation signature from the originators users issuing authority site checkers and other designated authorities and last one permit sign off the final part of the permit which tells about the completion of the given task this is about line breaking work permit format hope you understand about this line breaking work permit please don't forget to subscribe and share my videos to get more videos thanks for watching have a safe day